y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So today I just, I'm just really enjoying sitting here doing my makeup with y'all. I don't know, there's just something kind of more special about it. And honestly, I just don't even want to film in my studio with the cam, the bigger camera and like the whole thing. I just love sitting here, hanging out with y'all, enjoying a coffee and talking about makeup. So that's what we're going to do today. I picked up um, a few new things from Ulta a while back. If you saw my drugstore video, my Ulta drugstore video, I mentioned that I'd also picked up a few other things that were not drugstore, and we're gonna be playing with those today. And just overall, this is just gonna be a very everyday, effortless, glowy, kind of like no makeup makeup look. Um, we're obviously gonna be wearing makeup, but yeah, that's what we've got going on today. It's gonna be super chill, super easy, kinda take a break from all the holiday glam and do something a little bit more on the natural side, just kind of like an everyday makeup routine. I am actually getting ready for the day, so this is what I'm actually putting on my face for the day. So I've been getting a lot of questions about how I make my iced coffee, so I thought I would show you. It's two shots of espresso over ice with almond milk and agave. That's how I make my coffee basically every day. I love iced coffee. I definitely prefer it over hot coffee. And this is how I like it. It's not too sweet. Um, and it's just really, really good. So that's how I've been making my coffee. And then I'll link these glasses down below. I actually just bought these um, from Costco. I'm sure you can find them other places. I think even Amazon has them. But they're double walled. I don't know if you can see that. They're double walled glasses. And they're amazing. They have short ones. They have tall ones. I love these for iced coffee, wine, like whatever you want to put in here and they don't get all the condensation all over it. So it's amazing. And then I also have these glass straws that I got from Amazon as well. So it's just something about this. I know it's silly, like it's going to taste the same whether you drink it out of a plastic cup or a glass cup or whatever. But there's just something about this that just makes my morning that much nicer and more special. And like that can just kind of set the tone for the rest of the day. I don't know. It's just little things. That I enjoy. So anyway, I'll link all these down below if you're curious. But we're gonna go ahead and get into the makeup. I'm gonna stop blabbing, grab a drink, grab a snack, you know the drill, and let's get into it. Buy some lip balm because I'm gonna be using a lip stain today and I wanna make sure my lips are nice and hydrated. This is the one from PDL Cosmetics that I always talk about and I love. So like I mentioned, I picked up um, a lot of these products from my local Ulta. They actually had these in the store. I've seen them online, but I just never have seen them in person. When I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to try these. So I picked up a couple products from Ella Luz, which is Camila Coelho's brand. And her brand just looks so, it's just that perfect like effortless makeup, that like bronzy effortless makeup. I'm, I love it. Like this is what I would consider like going on vacation or going to the beach. This is like the makeup that you would bring. It just looks so beautiful. So I picked up a couple products. I also picked up a, a product from Live Tinted. I've been really wanting to try this brand. So I thought I would try with, I would start with this and I swatched it in store and it looked incredible. And then I also have um, some products from Dr. Lily Rose Organics. Um, I have a couple products. So um, this is kind of like a bunch of makeup that I like from brands that I've never tried before. I haven't tried anything from any of these brands before. I have technically tried them since I purchased them, but these were all brands that are new to me. So I'm really excited to kind of try out some new brands. I feel like you just, it's easy to get kind of stuck in the same rut of using the same brands over and over again, which is fine because when you find products you like, you know, you just kind of stick with them, but it's nice to venture out and also try brands that are not mainstream and uh, I don't know, play with some new things. So, all right. So when you pump it out, it looks really metallic, but then once you start blending it in, it just kind of turns into this like glossy oil. Like I feel like that looks super metallic on camera, which I guess it is, but I don't know, there's something super like glass skin glossy like about this product. And when I was watching it in store, I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. It looks so beautiful. It's just super reflective, but it's not chunky or glittery or like overly metallic. So I think I'm just gonna take this with my fingers across the high points of my face. 
Um, she does have another shade, but I find that the pigment is pretty sheer, actually. Um, so they probably show up pretty similarly on the skin. This one has a little bit more of like a pinky glow to it. I'm trying to compare this to other products that I have. Like I feel like the Lila B Golden Glow Priming Oil, that's definitely much more of a true oil. Whereas this, uh, it's more of like a cream. I mean, it still feels kind of oily. Um, but I find that this is actually quite similar. Honestly, the other shade, which is more bronzy, would probably be the most similar to the Lila B one. Um, and it also kind of reminds me of the Say Beauty, what was that called? The Super Gel, um, the Glowy Super Gel. But this is a lot thicker. The Glowy Super Gel was more of like a lightweight moisturizer. It wasn't quite as oily on the skin. Like this feels like you've almost applied a facial oil. So yeah, really cool product, and I'm excited to try more from this brand. Um, if y'all have tried anything from any of these brands that I talk about today, if there's something in here that I don't have, that you're like, oh my gosh, you need this product, let me know in the comments down below, because I'm really excited to kind of delve more into these brands that I've never tried before. So for foundation, I was kind of debating on whether I wanted to do foundation. I was kind of thinking I would just want to do concealer and just skip foundation. All right, I think I'm actually gonna use my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. I recently just did a review on this, so if you're curious about this foundation, you wanna know my thoughts on it, definitely check it out. Um, it is very, very light coverage though, which is kind of what I'm wanting today. Um, and I think I'm just gonna take it on my Alima Pure foundation brush. And just do a light layer of this. And I have this in the shade Y355, which is a spot on match for me, so if you Kind of know my foundation shades in other products and you kind of go off of that this is like my skin tone in a bottle it's kind of crazy all right so for concealer i'm going to use my inner beauty concealer i reviewed um a few of her products in a previous video and this is again just kind of a brand that i feel like no one talks about and i don't hear that much about but i really really liked the concealer so i have this in the shade fawn all right, so we have yet another cream bronzer. This is by the brand Ella Luz, which again is Camila Coelho's brand. It's a little stick bronzer, which I've never, oh gosh, I've never owned a stick bronzer that got a little twisty here and you just twist that up. You are able to twist it back down and that's what it looks like. So I got this in the shade Yummy Natural. All right, so there are three shades. Superstar is a light bronzer with shimmer, Yummy Natural, a light bronzer with a natural finish, and Super Yummy is a deep bronzer with natural. I think I'm just gonna apply it straight to my face. I have used this before. I really liked it, but I will say it's very, very warm. Um, it's a very warm, warm bronzer, which I think kind of goes with the whole vibe of the brand and just their products. You know, it's very much that like, it's not for contouring, like it's very much like a bronzer type of product. So I'm just gonna kind of draw it on. It kind of has like a little bit of a peachiness to it, which I actually like. Honestly, it re in terms of tone, it kind of reminds me of the Say Sun Melt Bronzer that I just showed y'all. Um, and I actually am a huge fan of the shape of this because you can really just draw it where you want it. I don't know, it's so interesting. Um, I've never had a bronzer this shape before. And I kind of dig it. I thought I wouldn't like it, but I actually really like it. So I'm going to use my little Say brush that I use with the Say bronzer. Zoom in a little bit. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing. But yeah, you can kind of see. I mean, it's pretty warm and it reads peach on my skin tone. But I feel like this would just be the perfect bronzer that you just like draw on your face with like no foundation or maybe a tinted moisturizer or a tinted sunscreen just draw it on your face and like go to the beach like that is that is what i get out of this i just think it's such i don't know i love the shape of it i love the color of it it blends out really nicely and i can definitely tell this is going to be a staple in my collection already i'm really glad i picked this up i'm gonna see what other products she has um she has a liquid bronzer which would be really pretty as well. Um, I also wanna try her face palette, 
which looks like that. That looks really pretty as well. I love going on her Instagram and looking at her or watching. She does a lot of uh, Instagram store Instagram stories. Yeah, Instagram stories and applies everything. And every time she applies, I mean, first of all, she's like a model. She's so stunning and I want her abs. Um, but yeah, just watching her apply all these products, it just makes you want to buy everything. She does have coconut in a few of her products, so I kind of stayed away from those. But yeah, I'm I'm loving this. Ooh, I'm gonna take some up onto my brow bone, just right on this outer corner. I don't know, I love this packaging. I don't know why more people don't use packaging like this. Like instead of a round stick, I don't have one in front of me, but instead of using a round stick, I actually like this more because you can just like get in all the areas. It hugs your cheek. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I don't think this is gimmicky at all. I actually really like the shape of this. I mean, you can like go down your nose, like it's so perfect. And I'll go and swatch it for you. I forgot to swatch it so you can kind of see what the tone looks like. But yeah, it's very, very warm. But I find at least on my skin tone, like I feel like it doesn't look orangey or fake. I feel like it looks like a very natural sun-kissed bronze, but definitely not like a contour shade or anything. All right, so another product that I have from Ella Luz is the, what is this called? The Lip and Cheek Stain. I've only used this on my lips. I have not used this on my cheeks yet, so we're gonna try this today. Um, I bought this because Alana Davison, obviously, I basically buy everything she recommends. I mean, hello. Um, yeah, I, I basically buy everything she recommends. So anyway, I bought this because of her because it looks so gorgeous on her lips. And I really want to try this on the cheeks. I'm a little nervous. Stains like this on the face kind of make me nervous because it's like, there's no going back. But we're going to try it. I've got my brush ready. Ooh, maybe I'll use this brush. Actually, I'm going to use this little elf stipple brush. And I'm just going to draw it on. And if that fails, we'll do it differently on the other side. But there's only one shade. Okay, okay. This is blending out like a dream. Do we see the difference? Oh, wow. I love that. I feel like cheek stains in the past that I've used, they just don't blend very well. It's almost like they dry, dry down too fast or they're too thin and watery and they just they're a mess that that was so easy okay so let's do the other side and I like this color too it looks very red when you first apply it but once you blend it out it kind of just I don't know like it looks like a tan like like a, a rosy sunburned flush I'm gonna take some on my nose I'm shocked. I honestly did not think that was going to blend out like that. I'm going to apply a little bit more to this side just to even it out. I feel like I applied more on this side. And I'm just using this e.l.f. stipple brush. I'll link it down below. Um, this works really great with cream products. And it's like, it's blending it out perfectly. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to apply some of this to my eyes too. And then we will definitely be applying this to our lips. I probably shouldn't have done both eyes at the same time. It's okay. I mean, what a dream. I've never had this, like, I've never had a stain like this work so effortlessly on the face. What a pretty cheek. I am loving that. Okay, so this is what it looks like swatched. It's probably a terrible swatch. Yeah, that is. And it feels like a gel. It's not as watery as other lip stains that I've tried. And I think maybe that's why it is blending out so nicely. The texture is really, really nice. So what I like to do is just apply it and then take my finger and really push it into the lips. Make sure it's nice and even because once it dries down, it does not move. So you want to make sure that you apply it evenly. Otherwise, you'll just have like patchy lips. I will say if you have really dry lips, or you're dealing with dryness on the lips. It's probably not the best product um, because it is it does dry down and it accentuates dryness on the lips, which is pretty typical for a lip stain. But yeah, I mean, you see how natural that is this with just a little bit of gloss on top. 
And then all you have to do is reapply the gloss because the stain is not gonna budge. I think I like this one so much because it's got a thicker texture. So it's easier to work with. That is like the perfect little like red popsicle stain. I love that. Okay, so huge fan of this. I love that on the cheek. That looks so beautiful. I did not think it was gonna blend out that nicely, but that looks gorgeous. I love the bronzer. Huge fan of both of these. Huge fan of this. Like we're just, we're winning today. Everything just looks so, so nice. I am gonna take a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of powder. This is just my 14E powder, um, just for my under eyes, just to set down the concealer, make sure it doesn't budge throughout the day. I'm also gonna take a little bit up on my eyelids so they don't get oily. Gosh, I just, I love the stain on the eyes. That is so pretty. Oh, oh my gosh. This like makes me excited to like do my makeup for just every day. Like this, oh my, I'm so, I'm loving this so far. Okay. So I have two products from Dr. Lily Rose, I think is how it's pronounced, Dr. Lily Rose Organics. Um, these are her blush, bronzer, shimmer, loose powders. So I'm, I'm assuming you can just use these for blush or bronzer and highlighter, just depending on your skin tone. So I have two shades. I have In Love and Golden Sun. She did send these to me, I did not purchase these. These are the only products today that I did not purchase myself. The one that's calling to me is In Love. And they're a loose, um, I think there are mineral powders. So this is In Love. And I think I'm gonna take this on a large brush and just kind of go on top of the bronzer just to add a little bit more warmth. I don't know, we'll see. And then this is the shade Golden Sun. This is probably gonna be more of a highlighter on my skin tone. All right, it's kind of hard to swatch loose products. So this is In Love, this is that bronzier shade. And this is Golden Sun. They're really soft. But that's what those look like. Ooh, In Love looks so pretty. Honestly, they both look so pretty. They're so soft, like very, very finely milled. Ooh, okay, so let's go in with In Love, which is the more bronzy shade. I'm just gonna take this on a really big brush. I'm gonna just take whatever's in the cap because I don't know how intense this is gonna be. I'm gonna pick up whatever's in the cap. And I'm just going to tap this on top of the rest of my products. Let's see. All right, that's really pretty. It's very light. And I'd be curious to try this without the cream bronzer underneath just to see what it looks like on on just my skin. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. And it's not glittery. It's not overly shimmery. I feel like I already had so much glow, so it's kind of hard to tell how much glow it added. But on my skin, it's actually more of like a satin finish. It's not, it's not shimmery at all. I'm gonna go and try the shade Golden Sun, which is that lighter, more pinky shade. And I think I'm gonna use this as like a highlighter, maybe slight blush topper. Let's see, it's pretty light, so works as a highlighter on me. And it has like a golden shift to it. Really, really pretty. Really pretty, so I feel like I'm not really seeing these products too much because I already have so much on my skin already, but I will definitely use these again and um, see what they look like on their own. But the skin just as a whole is looking so beautiful right now. I'm so smitten with these products so far. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. Let me go pick one. Oh, actually, I have a mascara that I have not tried yet. This is the Cali Ray. Come Hell or High Water Mascara. I have technically tried this brand before. Um, I did it in a first impressions video. Um, I tried out their eyeliners, which I did not like. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see how I like the mascara. I also want to mention, when I went to Ulta, I purchased um, an eyeshadow palette from Nabla. I was gonna include it in this video because I've never tried Nabla before but I wanna save this for a holiday glam look, so I'm gonna save this for another video, but I just wanted to show it to you. It is absolutely stunning. This is the side-by-side -side palette. So, so pretty. I've already used this palette a few times, 
I love it. I'm actually, I really want to try some more from Nabla, but this is a new brand to me and I will be using this in a different video. So I'm going to save that, but just wanted to mention that. All right, so mascara is on, not too shabby. I actually like it. I don't know, we'll have to keep playing with this. It's a very wet mascara, so it's pretty messy, but all I did was just take a Q-tip after it dried and it rubbed right off. So, so far, I think it's just like a good natural everyday mascara. I don't love it right off the bat, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, really easy to apply. And yeah, so that's the Cali Ray mascara. So last thing I wanna do is just add a little bit of lip liner to my lips. Um, so I'm just gonna take my Beauty Pie Moisture Lock Wonder Gel Lip Liner. I talked about this in my Beauty Pie video. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. Um, but I love this color. This is the shade Foxy. It's like my lip color, just a little bit darker. So I find that this makes my lips look so full and it's really great for overlining. To sharpen it. And then I'm actually going to take a little bit more of the lip stain. Just kind of rub some more of that in. I actually really like this lip stain with this lip pencil. That's a nice combo. Do you know when you apply makeup and you're like, wow, I feel really pretty today? Like, that's how I feel right now. I love everything on my face. Everything just looks so good. I'm loving this stain. I love the bronzer. Like, I'm just so happy with my makeup. This is like the perfect date night makeup look for me because I like to do more natural makeup when it comes to date nights. And Chris also kind of prefers more of a natural makeup look. Like, this is such a perfect date night look. You can eat, drink. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with my makeup today. This looks it's just pretty like it's not I know it's not glamorous it's there's like I still have spots showing on my face but it I just feel really pretty so I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today I hope that this just was a nice break from your day um, you know whether you're working today or you have the day off and you just needed a little break I hope that this provided some relaxation some calm some peace um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love when y'all leave comments. Y'all are the sweetest. Like your comment section, if I need an ego boost, I just go to my comment section because y'all are seriously the best. You leave the sweetest comments and I'm just so grateful for all of you. So thank you so much for being here. As always, remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are worth